Hello, hello, hello beautiful people, welcome back to a brand new RuneScape video. I've had a short break after the end of Deadman All-Stars and the end of Deadman Armageddon, but now we're back and in this video we're gonna be preparing for the Araxor release. It's coming out on 28th of August and there are a lot of things we have to get done. It is so weird doing regular Slayer again after playing Deadman mode for so long, but anyways, here's a Superior Necriarch and I am currently on 556 points. I will only really show superiors in case we get something cool, but nothing too crazy from the first one. And the goal is obviously to get as much Slayer points as we can before the Araxor release. So when that comes out in 8 days from this clip, we'll be able to just perma skip tasks in order to get as many Araxors as we possibly can. But yeah, I'm ready to go back into the groove of things. I just had Necreal task not finished yet. I'm not sure if I'll do just Turail skipping or if I'll do Wilderness Slayer. I might just balance it out between the two. We'll figure it out as we go. But I have to finish this task first before I can even make up my mind. Another superior. And just a totem base from this one. Now that the Necreal task is about to be completed, I have a very clear goal ahead of me. If we check our task streak, we can see that I've completed 452 tasks in a row. I'm gonna be Turail skipping. Meaning, I'll be doing two rail tasks until I reach 459 tasks and then doing one Konar task to maximize my points. And I plan on doing this until 500 to see how it feels and after that I will either decide to go for Wilderness Slayer or continue doing what we've been doing. So yeah, let's do some two rail skipping but I think I have some clue scrolls I wanna do first. So before I fully commit to the Slayer grind I also wanna keep completing the clue scrolls. I noticed I had this elite clue scroll in my bank probably for the last three years that requires me to have a farmer's straw head, pyromancer robe and shazian body. So I'm gonna get these things done very quickly and then we will continue with Slayer. By trading a Gricoller, I can get a farmer's hat. It's not called straw head but that's the only hat I see. So that's the only hat we need. Perfect. Now let's figure out how to get a Shazian body 5. Shazian plate body 5. Give me. We now have everything needed. Can I wear it? I can. We're good. Let's get it done. So here I was looking for Turael, right? I'm NPC contacting. I'm looking where is Turael? Like I'm getting lost. And then I realized that my guy is dead because we finished the quest. So now we need to take Aya tasks. Very, very odd. Dogs. Dogs is like the worst task by the way. But anyways, the plan is super simple. We basically just do tasks with Aya until every 10th task and then we do a task with Konar. So let's get it done. Alright, so now we can finally do what I wanted to do. So we've done 459 tasks and I can NPC... Wait, actually let's not misclick this. I'll just go to Mount Karulm and manually take this task. So still dragons in Brimhaven, maybe not the best task, but let's get it done and we should get decent points for it. I might have to use another one of these, unfortunately. Unless this one gives me the bonus. It did give me the bonus. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, so how much did I get? I got 100 points for finishing the 460th task. So that was good, nothing crazy. But we need to get this to 500 to get like the big bonus in points. So now we go back to skipping 9 tasks in a row. Decided to do a very quick detour and also charge my Bone Crusher necklace. I'll try to do this for the next couple of days, but now it will basically automatically bury the next 3,250 bones, which should be good when it comes to just slaying a bunch of stuff. So uh, let's get up for skip tasks again and keep on going. Hold up, I'm becoming a collection logger. I got a Mystic... I don't even know what it is. Mystic Gloves Dark, where are they? Oh, look at them. They're beautiful. $5,000. I think I just messed up. Hold up. No, it was my 400. Okay, wait, could I theoretically skip this task and then take a normal one and it would be fine? Oh, I need to pay more attention. That's my bad. But I think I can lose 30 points to get 100 points, so I think it's still fine. Cancel lizards. Okay, well, trolled a little bit, but that's okay. No. <laughs> I don't want to do Hydra. I can skip this, right? I think it's worth it. I got scammed though. Come on, bro. Skeletal wyverns, let's get it done. And there is 100 more points for free. We're now up to 700. Not bad. I've now downloaded the Konar Milestone Reminder plugin. So every time I do my 10th task, now it should be a bit harder for me to miss it. Every 10th task, we treat ourselves to a nice task. And this time, I mean, do we just do two roughs? I feel like this is a disaster task, but maybe I can do it fast. I don't really know. Okay, so there we go. Plus 100. Back to Aya skipping. Look at the demon. What am I seeing, man? Hey, he hopped. No. 
<laughs> what a legend, man. This guy's having more fun in RuneScape than any of us ever will. What a king. All right, let's take a look. Task number 490. Still, I mean, this is fine. I think the last time we did it, it was okay. Let's go again. All right, there we go. That should be another 100 points to the collection. Looking good already, almost 1,000. And now I really need to not misclick on my 500th task because that's where the big points will be. So let's just do nine more Tural tasks quickly. All right, and finally, the 500th task, which should also give us a ton of points. Let's take a look. Dark Beasts, that should be very quick as well. Not bad. And there it is, 500 tasks and 700 points. All right, now I have a decision on my hand. Do we keep on doing this, which actually is kind of fun to do, or do I go Wilderness Slayer and change everything around? Now, I could go Wilderness Slayer, but I would probably need to change my block list. And I don't know if I want to do this yet, but this looks pretty clean. I do think I'm going to stick with regular Slayer for a little bit longer, and maybe we switch it over to Wilderness Slayer in just a little bit. Blue Dragons in Teverly. Uh, you know, it's fine. I don't think it's that bad, honestly. I'll just throw my account there and AFK it a bit. It's fine. I've just finished 510 tasks, and I think it is now time to talk about how I approach skip tasks. So first thing I do after I complete a task is I will deposit my entire inventory and everything that's worn. So I've got nothing. I then go into this tab right here, which has everything perfectly set up. So I just grab my gear. I like to take two Expeditious Bracelets, sometimes three. I like having Bone Crusher in my inventory as well. I almost always need a cannon and I usually take around 10k cannonballs. I usually take two Divine Ranging Potions, that should be enough for nine tasks. I take two Prayer Pots, one Stamina and obviously my Rune Pouch for NPC Contact. I then exit out of the bank and I just wear all of my gear. At that point, my inventory looks a little bit scuffed like this, but I have the gear fully sorted, which is just the Venator Ring pegs, Missouri blowpipe, max cape because you know it's just useful, necklace of anguish, slayer helmet, and blessing. Obviously, you can down gear wherever you need to. Once my inventory looks like this, I know this is enough for nine tasks. I then take everything that I need in order to do those tasks. So we start off with slayering, rope, royal seed pot, all the chinchompas. I use that to kill the monkey task. Ectophile, I use that for zombie tasks and bird tasks. Ring of the elements, I do that to go into the Lumbridge swamp. School Scepter in order to reach the Barbarian place. Lessar Teleports in order to reach Ice Fiends and Dwarves. And then Desert Amulet in order to reach Dogs. And now I basically have everything in my inventory that I will need to complete 9 tasks in a row. Once that is ready, I just NPC contact Aya. And I go ahead and I grab a task. And this time it's Dwarves, so you guys already know the drill. We go to Lessar. We run a little bit south and we are right here. So that's basically what I do for the 9 tasks. And then 10th task, it's always the same. Just do it if you can, if it's not too annoying, or skip it and do the next one if it's like a bit of a frustrating task. I'm gonna be doing this for a long time because I want to get probably like 5,000 points, honestly. But I will keep updating you guys whenever something interesting happens. Huh. I got 234 Eviances in the God Wars dungeon. I guess I could do this on stream tomorrow. That seems like a fun task, honestly. Uh, oh yeah, I can do this, right, and just Blood Barrage. So I got like a Grandmaster task there, but I don't know what I did. I think we can do 30 kills in one trip, uh, unless I'm like really trolling. What did I just do? Kriara Adept. I have 50kc. Yo, that's big, 50kc. I'm becoming Grandmaster soon, just give me like a week. So, unless my calculations are wrong, with this kill I should have done 30 in a row, and my inventory is still looking very good. I think that does it. Come on, show it. There it is, 30 kills in a row, Grandmaster task completed. Everything else on Kriara is pretty easy. So I might actually try to do all of it in this trip. I mean, I don't have Salamander on me, but I think, and I don't have Chinchompas on me. So that has to be done like at a later date. But that's arguably the most annoying one to get out of the way. It's funny how on the last kill where I don't care at all, I'm just face tanking and I get the kill like no problem. What a nice task this was. Very quickly, the loot from this task is 420k, 4 brimstone keys, and 32 crush nests. But most importantly, we got the Grandmaster task done. That's arguably the most annoying one. Even though at the moment I'm not focusing on completing Grandmaster tasks or any tasks in that matter. However, in the very near future, I am planning to start a Grandmaster series. Regardless, we now got a bunch of points and uh, let's keep on working on getting this up to... Well, I want at least 5,000. Waterfiends. Oh, it's an absolute disaster, isn't it? 
I mean, this can't be worth doing. Black Dragon's Evil Chicken Lair. Oh, interesting, let's do it. Yo, call me Collection Logger, I just got bronze boots. <laughs> There's no way, but I see VA. Necreal in Catacombs. That's not too bad, I guess. Fuck it, we send it! Ugh. No way! That would have been clean though, Loki on the down low. Bomba! <laughs> So that is my 550th task finally completed, 300 points, we're now up to 2.2k points. I'd say I'm at about a halfway point to where I want to be, which is 5000 at least. So, slight detour, I think we might be questing. Land of the Goblins needs to be completed for the next part of the... Yeah, I've never done this quest, I guess, and I am not dropping the clue scroll, so I guess I am doing this before we continue with Slayer. Snothead. Okay, so let me just wear this before I misclick it. Very dangerous when you have left click be the teleport on the cape. Okay, I was able to kill the first guy, no problem. I'm gonna assume this is gonna finish the quest, right? Strong bones. Okay, so am I gonna... He attacks using all three combat, lowers your attack, strength and defense, ignore the level 24. Okay, imagine you die to this guy, bro. I'm not even praying. Let him cook. Alright, pleasure doing business, buddy. Okay, I think that was the last guy. Return to Dorgeshkan and speak to Oldak. Also, I think this is what I need to get to for the clue scroll, by the way. So there we go. Unlocking this gives me an ability to teleport here. And I think this is where my clue location is. I don't really know. The big high water god left his mark on this place. Walk up to the... Dig anywhere in the Ublisk Ferry Ring BLQ. Yeah, see, that, that was the clue step, basically. Obviously, we are gonna go ahead and finish the quest. There's no way to not finish the quest, but uh, cool. We have the step done. I guess that's how it ends. Land of the Goblins completed, a bunch of XP we don't care about, but most importantly, the clue step is now completable for us. Perfect. I can now finish the quest and actually return and do more Slayer. Dagonoff on Waterbirth Island. Okay, I guess we can just do some DKs. Maybe we get some good drops in the process as well. I like this task. It's a nice task. All right, I am becoming a Grandmaster, so I will kind of try to do all the tasks as I go. I have a little melee switch, I'm camping fury and suffering for a little bit of defenses. I have a Tebow switch and then I have a shadow switch. Let's see if we can do all the tasks while also finishing the slayer task. So this should be fun. I do enjoy DKs, so let's give it a shot. Okay, so the first one I guess we go for supreme and we just kill it while both of the other two are attacking me. I'll just get rid of the easy tasks, let's say. I just need to get hit by all three at the same time. I don't want to kill it here, I know I can kill him, so I need to be careful. I need him to slap me once, and now I can finish it. Okay, so that should be one task. And then one should be to kill this guy while he's frozen. So now I can freeze him, and now I can get that task done. And now I can kill that guy. So that's another one, easy. And then primer is primer, right. So we're gonna be picking up bones as we go. So next one I will kill, let's say, prime while being attacked by both of the- Oh, or maybe rex first. I think I can do this, right? I should be able to hit and tank pretty well like that. Okay, so that should be the next one down. Nice and easy. Okay, so Prime, I could do it kind of both at once. I could do Prime whilst being attacked by everything and bounce it off Rex to kill it. Does that seem complicated or should we do it? I feel like we should do that. This and now off Rex. Come on, don't, don't do this to me. Hit it. I think that will work, by the way. Nice. That was uh, much simpler than I thought it would be. That was like a first try type of situation. Very good. Hey, yo, I got both of them as well. From one king to another. Oh, yeah, and I killed it while being hit by everything, of course. So, two tasks, one go. Nice and easy. We like it. I do believe that completes Prime completely for us. So, that's very solid. And now we're gonna have to cook some other stuff up as well. If I use chins, it would need to be of this, right? So, chins off of prime, maybe. 
Yeah. This. Nice. And then... Bam. I think I did it first try. Yeah, we cooking. Did I do it? Rapid succession. Yeah, there it is. That was so easy. Yo, shout out to the homie telling me to just like set it up ahead of time. That was beautiful. First try. Let's go out. Like my inventory is obviously a mess because we've just been doing tasks. Uh, but let's go out and quickly check uh, what other tasks there are to do. Because I think I've done everything. I've even done the Rex one accidentally because I've killed Rex and Primer on the same time. So if we go combat tasks, we go DKs. Wow, everything is green, bro. That was so easy. It took me like three rotations and everything is done. Beautiful. I got a Dragon X. B. Ah, it's probably completely useless, but like it is what it is. Hey, I'm dying, man. Ladies, gentlemen, it is beautiful on the floor, Berserker Ring. Nice little five million dollars, we'll take it. There we go, first drop on the DK's task is almost done though. We are on, well, we have 23 left, but we'll take it. Circle. A new collection log, yo, I'm becoming a collection logger. Okay, and that's a full a DK's task completed. We got a bunch of bones and a Berserker Ring to show for it. Back to skipping, I'd say the goal for today, for me personally, is to get to 600 tasks. I think I can make it work. And then we grab a task of Konar, and this is the fastest way to get points. Abby Specs in Catacombs of Kurend. I have a feeling this is very bad and slow. I think this one is a cancel, ladies and gentlemen. So 30 points are gonna be wasted on this one, unfortunately. But I don't think it's worth my time at all. I think this one's even worse, Trolls in Keldegrim. I'll do this with Cannon, I guess. It's fine. Okay, we bought a Venator bow, overpaid for it, uh, let's test it out, this should like bounce. But I think this task might be a bit of a disaster, I'm not even gonna lie, I think it's gonna be very slow. At this point I probably could have just done Abbey Specs. Note to whoever ever wants to do a troll task in Keldegrim, just skip it, this took way too long, it is not worth your time. But that's the task completed, thank you for finally be over, uh, let's keep on slaying though. Black Demons in a Brimhaven Dungeon. This is a long task, but I want to see if it's high weight. Because if it's a high weight, I could just block these. It's an 8. Let's see. Probably not worth it, actually, then. I will not do it. I will not do it. Why do I have Drake's blocked? Drake is also an 8. Fire Giants is a 7, so that doesn't need to be blocked, necessarily. Spiritual Creatures are a 7 as well. And Worms are an 8. So my block list is kind of trash. And I have three more slots available. One of them should be Abyssal Demons. Then I'm probably getting rid of like a boss. I'm getting rid of hot stuff. I'm getting rid of aviances. I'm getting rid of I hope you miff me. I'll just have to get rid of all of this stuff when I'm skipping. But I feel like you should be able to like not always waste points on this. You should just be able to on and off it how you please. Abri, I'll skip this task. The decision has been made. I'm gonna do regular Slayer until 600 tasks. And after that, I will experiment with Wilderness Slayer for a little bit. So, Skeletal Wyverns, nice and fast 10th task. And then we only got 10 more tasks to go. All right, let's go ahead and take a look what the last task from Konar will be for the foreseeable future. Abyssal Demons in the Slayer Tower. I will actually go ahead and do it. It is a bad task, but I wanna have it done. All right, I am convinced I need a synapse. Shineps, let's go 60 miller and just buy it instantly. There we go. Can I just use this on this? You try to catch synapse with a sword. The blade sizzles for a moment, but the synapse just slides off of it again. So does that mean I need to charge it fully first? Wait, how many of these do I need to use? Is it like 10,000? Bang, 10,000 million and bam. It didn't work. Anvil with the hammer. I'm trusting the YouTube chat. Synapse. On the anvil. Oh, I think it's making it. There it is, the ember light. Let's test this beautiful thing on some abyssal demons. I'm ready. Let's see how the hits are looking like. This is my first time using it. A 7. A 5. Hold up. A 22. We need a little bit more than that. 54. 48. Okay, wait. I need like a lot of big hits in a row. 12. 43. Was it worth it, bro? I don't know, man. I don't know when 60 million went into this sword, bro. It's hitting zeros. But no, obviously this sword is gonna be really good. Like, I don't need to worry about charges or anything like that ever again, so... Okay, guys, guys, guys. The sword is great and all. 
but we could invest a little bit more money into anti-teleportation scroll device, which would make things, I think, even nicer. Because sometimes it can teleport you out and then like you miss hits or whatever, especially when I'm barraging this in the future. So we're going straight back to Grand Exchange. I'm just in the wasting money mood today. So let's buy the anti-teleportation scroll thingy device. Let's see how much it costs. Teleport anchoring scroll. Okay, it's cheap. It's 4 million. We get it. We read it. You can make out some faded words on the ancient parchment, revealing the secrets of teleport negation. Would you like to absorb the power, become immune to abyssal demons and elder chaos through its teleportation attacks? Might as well chuck away four million dollars and uh, let's go back to the this, this and uh, do some more demons. Ladies and gentlemen, it is hard to notice him, but greater abyssal demon is in front of us. I think these are the best ones, right? Or are there better superiors than Abyssal Demons? Maybe Necre... No, I don't think Necreal is better. Smoke Devils is a bit better, I see. Okay, it's based on Slayer level, yeah, that makes sense. Alright, let's take a look. Do we get a heart or do we get nothing? Brimstone Key and nothing. That should do it, we now completed 600 tasks, 500 extra points, and we now have over 3000 Slayer points in total. This is where I will be ending the video for today. My journey of obtaining Slayer points is not over. I will now do the rest of the grind doing Wilderness Slayer, and I will then be able to compare what is better, Turael or Aya skipping, or Wilderness Slayer with the correct block task. I still got 4 days until the release of Araxor, so that's basically what I'm gonna do for the next few days, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video a little bit all over the place anyways i'll see you guys very soon with the araxo release have a beautiful rest of your day and bye bye see ya